As I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, we cannot eliminate anxiety because it is a natural reaction, it is a natural response and it is a part of our emotional makeup. So what do we need to do? We need to teach children to manage their anxiety, to understand the situation and to deal with it, to cope with it. That is what we need to teach the children. We need them to ask for help when it is needed. They should feel it's okay to talk about anxiety, to talk about anything that's bothering them. As parents, it becomes our responsibility not to shy away from topics, but to talk about it and explain it to them. We need to model ways of handling anxiety properly to children. Healthy ways of handling anxiety should be a part of the coping mechanism that children have. Routines are very reassuring for children. So try to have set routines for them. And if you're expecting a change in the future, for example, if they're going to start school or if you're going to move to a new place. In fact, even if you need to get the child ready for a birthday party or a marriage function, just inform them beforehand, talk about it to them, talk what the situation would entail, who they would meet and try and reassure them so that they are very comfortable when they go into the situation. Distressing events cause distress for everyone. So if there's a death in the family, if there's sickness, if um, the pet falls sick or if the child's friend becomes sick, even that causes anxiety to a child. If the child is scolded in school, it's a very small thing, but for children, it becomes a very big issue. And not by issue, I don't mean that they're exaggerating something. It is how they react. We need to understand the situation from their perspective. Something that seems very small to us might be something huge for them. So understand that, reassure them, talk about it. Rather than telling them, don't worry about this. It's okay, you've performed so many times on stage. Why are you so worried? Rather than saying that, discuss their feelings. So you have a performance coming up, you have to go up on stage tomorrow. How do you feel about it? That makes the whole situation more approachable to them. They're able to communicate their feelings, which is what is important. Simple relaxation exercises really help. So deep breathing, some kind of basic yoga, even physical exercise that, you know, kind of helps them to remove their excess anxieties and channelize their energy would work. So anything that is beneficial for the child along a physical activity or even deep breathing exercises are recommended. Have a worry box in the child's room, which is always visible to the child. Ask them to draw if they're very young or write down whatever is making them anxious, whatever is making them worried and put it in the box. You can have a fixed day and a time when you open up the box, see the things that have worried the child over a period of time and discuss it, talk about it. But at that point, when they put something into the worry box, it kind of gives them a closure about the situation, which really, really helps. Most important, respect their feelings. It is okay to be anxious. It is okay to be stressed. Don't make them feel negative emotions about their way of expressing an emotion. That is very essential. You can also have something called feeling scales. Sometimes children don't understand what they are feeling. So, you know, if you have these little emojis with different expressions and ask them what they are feeling, what they are experiencing, it helps them to identify their emotions better and talk about it in a better manner. So equip your children to deal with stress and anxiety. And lastly, if you feel that as a parent, you are not able to help your child, make sure to reach out to professionals. Feel free to contact us so that we can guide and help you. So to help your child in a much better way. There are many, many strategies, many online resources, tools, therapies, which actually effectively help a child to deal with anxiety in a much better manner. Let's empower children to lead 
a meaningful, healthy and happy life. Thank you. Thank you.